out here. I was thinking that today would be cooler because it's a little overcast. So I was like, oh, I'll do videos today. No, it's still hot. Um, okay, so for the next round, I'm going to do something a little different. Uh, the herb garden hasn't changed too much, so I don't want to spend too much time over there. Um, instead, I'm going to walk you around the yard and show you guys everything else that we have that we've never shot videos of. Uh, there's so much here, and we've been adding to it pretty much every day. Uh, it feels like that, at least. So I thought that it'd be fun for me to share uh, some of the different stuff that we have. So some things that you'll see in this video, um, a lot of my plant swap stuff. So you'll see some like miscellaneous plants. Some of them I might not know the, the names of them too. Bear with me because there's been a lot of swapping. Um, I'll also walk you through some of our trees that we have. I'm going to try and grab my book so that I remember what I planted where. We have a lot of baby trees. Um, and then I'll show you some of our other gardens that we have. Um, including the lilac garden. So that was the initial garden I ever did by myself, sort of by myself. My mom helped. She she got me the lilacs uh, from her house and she uh, helped me dig the holes. But that was like my first big garden thing on my own, in my own house. And I tore out all that grass and mulched and I was so proud of myself. Little did I know, a few years later I would have a lot more mulching to do. <laughs> All right, well, let's get started. We'll start out in the front yard. Alrighty, so we're heading out to the front and I have my trusty little garden journal. Um, I write down everything that I really can in this journal. Anything that did well year before or anything that didn't do so well so that I know to do it a little different um, the year after. So I'm gonna walk around to show you some of the trees that we have. Um, and I'm gonna use my, my notes to tell you what everything is. All right, so first here, um, this guy is a crepe myrtle. Um, we got these from um, some a uh, charity I sent them to. I think it was the National Wildlife Foundation. Um, and they sent me a, a bunch of trees. It may not have been that one, I'd have to double check. But, um, so I've got crepe myrtle here. And I've got another one on that flag on the other side of the driveway. Um, I was hoping to have both of them get really big and kind of be a really neat entrance way to the front driveway. Next one here is a dogwood. So this one is the same sort of tree as what we have growing in our back herb garden. Um, they're little still, but quite I literally, I wish I would have taken a picture when we got them. They were just little twigs. Uh, there was no leaves. This guy here fell over. This one is also another top one. Um, and then I believe this one's a red bud. Uh, we lost one to a lawnmower accident. <laughs> um, a little while after we planted them. So this one I believe is the red bud. Back here, this is our crab apple. I love those leaves. I think those are so pretty. I might be off by one. This might be the crab apple. I'm missing one on my notes. And then another red bud down here. He's getting eaten by somebody. You can see some of the little leaves at the bottom. This one is a bush from my mom's house. I think it was the forsythia. Um, the one with the yellow flowers that goes crazy in the springtime and the fall. Um, he's a little, looking a little rough. Um, but it was it was a rough transplant, so hopefully. He'll kick back. Walking back here, this one is a Rose of Sharon. This was actually growing in the woods. When did we transplant this one? Um, I think that we transplanted initially maybe two or three years ago um, and it went to the front of the house. But then this year when we had to um, do the front porch, we moved him. So he's flowering, he's happy. And then right here, there's the garden that you always see. We've got two more things. So these little guys are actually 
kiwis. Kiwi plants. So we've got two of them and we kind of put up this makeshift trellis with um, a little bit of gardening wire. You can see that. So that they can kind of grow up it. Um, they're still alive. They have not grown much as far as size. But they're still kicking, so I have faith. Then over here, we set up a similar little trellis, um, and these are our grapes. I've always wanted to do grapes. I've always really wanted this like big, elaborate <laughs> like trellis for them, um, like pergola style. We decided that with the fence and everything we were putting up around the garden, that we were going to maybe wait until next year to do that. But in the meantime, we've got them on here, and they seem to be doing just fine. Um, they're definitely still growing. We've had problems with um, Japanese beetles, which I don't know if I can get that to focus. There, there's the culprit right there, him. Um, we've had a, oh, quite a few issues with them, so we have been having to um, to work on that along the way, unfortunately. But it looks like they bounced back, and they're growing. Let's see. That other one had reached the top arch. This one I'd say is maybe three feet. So, we're excited about the grapes. I'm excited about the grapes. Lots of things you can do with grapes. <laughs> Over here, we do have two. Um, as you can see, that little flag over there. He's not really doing much. He's just a stick still. Um, but this one's growing. So these are actually uh, hazelnut trees. And we got these from the Green Neighbor Festival in downtown Frederick this year. So we're hoping that the other one partners up and grows, because I think we're going to need both of them in order to get any uh, nuts off of it. But we'll see. All right, making our way up to the front. This here is the rose garden. Um, this is actually the second rose garden up here that I've had. I had one last year that was just doing amazing and I made a big uh-oh and trimmed them too late in the year and killed them. So I had to go buy more this year, uh, but they grow pretty quickly so they'll fill fill in fast, but these guys are doing pretty good. All right, this one's my favorite. Um, I've not shown you guys this yet, but this is probably one of my favorite. I think I say that about all my gardens, but this is one of my favorite gardens. Um, so the idea here was I really, really wanted a cottage garden. And um, the beginning of this year, we actually had this patio board. Um, so this used to all be dirt. Um, we just had the patio board, so they kind of had all the dirt that they got from over there, and they just kind of smoothed it out in the yard. Um, you know, we discussed putting uh, grass seed over it. I was like, no, I want, I want a cottage garden. So here we are. Um, the idea here is I, my lovely mother allowed me to go to her house and raid her gardens, and uh, so we did. It was probably last fall that we did this. Um, so all of her plants were pretty much just stick and root. Um, and we came over here and we just dug holes and just plop things in places. <laughs> and so this spring, this summer has been quite an adventure for me because I literally had no idea what was planted or where it was planted. So all spring long we just had like stuff popping up. Um, and then I, my Buddha, I actually got my Buddha and placed him in here uh, on what was a bare spot just to see that there was little, uh, little leaves trying to poke out from underneath of him and it turned out to be the hostas. So I had to pick him up and move him back so that they could grow. Um, but it was literally that surprising as to what was going to come up in this garden bed. This is one thing I'm pretty proud of. So my property, if you guys also probably don't know this, is um, 
certified by the National Wildlife uh, Federation, um, the entire property, front yard, backyard. And so I got this plaque and I put it in our front garden bed. So along with the plants that I planted popping up and surprising us, um, we've had this guy pop up and surprise us as well. So that sunflower right there was not planted on purpose. Um, best guess is that it came from seed out of the bird feeder. Um, but he just popped up one day and I was like, I'm leaving him. We're gonna have a sunflower. So there he is, I mean, beautiful. Pretty excited about that. I thought that was absolutely spectacular to have that just surprise us. And we did have another one that popped up, but it looks like he's been, he's been eaten. Um, not sure if that's a sunflower there or not. We'll let him go for a little bit. He might be. Um, it does kind of look like it, so we'll let him go for a little bit. I'm not sure where the other little one went. Somebody must have got him. Too bad. But it's nice to have those little surprises <laughs> along the way. So everything in here, um, virtually, has been taken from my mother's garden, um, except for a few things here. These flowers, my mom let me plant sit. She got them as a gift and didn't have room for them at the moment, so I'm plant sitting them until she has room for them. And that guy back there, which it looks like his tag blew away. Oh no, it didn't. There it is. That is a red vine dock. Okay. Um, Tyler bought this and decided he wanted to plant him behind the dock because he thought it would be fun. Looks like something's eaten it though. Might have to address that. So this is my my front garden, my little um, decorations here. I think are fun. So I got a little Indian guy down there. My gnome. Cause what's a garden without a gnome? I've been really excited to share this one with you. I know I need to weed, but this garden is definitely one of my favorites. It's very nice to pull into home and see this. Absolutely beautiful. All right, well, I'm gonna take you back around to a few more things that we have, and I'll show you them in a second. Okay, so this is where we initially found the snakes. So I'm, a, I'm a little antsy here, guys, a little antsy. Um, so this is just the side of the house and so what we have here um this guy is a raspberry bush the middle one is a raspberry bush and the far one is a blackberry bush the two raspberry bushes i got from a plant swap the blackberry bush we actually got from the woods in the backyard um the house is under minor construction right now as you can tell so i apologize for the stuff in the background um but these guys I wasn't expecting to get anything out of them this year. Um, they've been eaten by a few things, but they're still standing pretty tall. But eventually they'll take over and we'll probably have a ton of berries from them, maybe next year. All right, and then we'll come around here. So this garden I decided was going to be my plant swap garden. This garden was not here at the beginning of the summer. <laughs> um, I just decided, uh, my mother had given me more extra hostas and I didn't have anywhere to put it. So I decided to just clear this piece out and mulch it and put in the hostas. And then I've just been adding stuff from swaps ever since. So these little guys here and here, that was a plant swap. Um, this guy here, which I think is so awesome. He was a plant swap, I have no idea what he is. Um, but what's really cool, uh, they're kind of changing. Oh, sorry, bugs. Um, the underneath of their leaves is like a purple color. And when I first got them, they were dark, dark purple underneath. They're so pretty. I thought they looked like lily pads. We got this little one here. This here. I wish I knew the names to this stuff, guys. I'm sorry, I just don't. I might be able to comment in the bottom because I do have notes on all of these. LAM's ears. I got them from a plant swap as well my favorite garden flag in the world. I don't know if you can see this, but it says Nomaste in the garden, spelled with a G, because he's a gnome. 
All right, and then if we do a quick spin around here, there's the herbs bed. Everything's bolting. Everything's bolting, but that's fine. We'll get our chance to collect our seeds. Um, I wanted to do a quick video, which I might still do today, on how to keep um, basil from bolting, so I might do that. Basil is pretty easy. You can keep it going for a while if you just pick off uh, the tops. So I'll do a video on that. Maybe if it cools off a little bit today. <sighs> Forage looks like it's about seeing better days. <laughs> getting, getting a little long in the tooth there. The sage has gotten pretty big though. The sage has definitely picked its game up. Cilantro bolted, so we'll have abundance of coriander. But that's not a bad thing. I'm still picking lavender. Foxglove, I have not touched. I know at one point I said that I would follow a, a viewer's word and chop him, but I did a little bit more research and they said that if you just let it go, then it'll seed itself. So I have faith it'll seed itself. Um, but if you look down here at the bottom, it's got some new green on it. So he might come back. If not, he'll make me a bunch more, right? <laughs> Parsley's bolting. You can tell it shoots straight up and it looks really different. So that's what it looks like when it bolts. Um, we've actually got some flowers on it here. That'll focus. We get some flowers coming in. If you've seen all of our videos, you've pretty much seen all the info on this stuff, so I'll spare you the details. All right. And then this one, as promised, this is the lilac bed. So this was my first really big task um, that I decided I was going to do and I took out all of the grass and I mulched all around and my mom came and helped me plant these lilac bushes um, just to give us a property line basically. Um, these guys now, they were transplants but they're probably four years old at this point so they've gotten much bigger. When we first transplanted them, the biggest ones, I think the largest ones, were about that size. So this guy right here, we had planted something there, um, a lilac plant, but he didn't make it. And so I actually just ended up taking some of, I don't know if you can see them, the offshoots here from one of the plants and just planting one of those offshoots. And he's gotten that big all by himself. So I'm excited for them. Some of them bloom this year, so we got to see some of the flowers. Um, but it'll be nice once it all fills in. My willow tree, he's my favorite. I was so excited when uh, my parents first got this house. Um, they lived in, owned it before I moved in. Um, I loved this willow tree. I was so excited to see a willow tree. We did used to have two, um, but one of them, one of them uh, got hit by lightning and died. So now we just have one. Before I take you over to the shed, I'm going to show you my other boodle. This guy here, I think he's so cool. He looks awesome at dusk with the tiki torches lit up. He's fun. All right, I'm back here to the shed to see the last little bit of, there's my sunflowers. Now this one, and don't even act like I didn't just see that feather, I saw it, I saw it a mile away. Aha, uh -huh. yes, awesome, I'm keeping it. Um, okay, so this guy here, um, this was my fault. I was playing with one of the dogs and I threw her toy over here and she just came like full speed ahead and basically chopped him right in half. Um, Tyler being sweet, trying to make me feel better, <laughs> tried to fix it. Let's update. 
it didn't work. Yeah, he's gone. Um, so I'll rip him out, but these guys are still, still coming up. So hopefully they'll get big and bloom. And then back here, I hate to say it, I left my book out front. I don't know what kind of tree that is, but it's another one of our trees that we planted. Um, I think one of these back here was a hawthorn tree, but I'm not sure if that was it. We did have a few more, but they didn't make it. So that is the walk around the yard. Oh, do you know what? I actually missed a few things. Excuse the, the mess. We're still trying to get everything situated from redoing the, the deck. So we still got some stuff to bring up. This guy, can't miss him. This is my rhubarb plant. So we planted him this year. He's not quite as big as I thought he would be at this point, but um, he should winter well and we should be okay. We should have more of them coming back next year. It looks like we got a beetle issue. So I'll have to come out and address that as well. Um, and then here, this is some of the yarrow. This should probably be in a pops video, but I'll show you while we're here. This is some of the yarrow that we found growing in the yard. Um, so funny enough, I paid for yarrow in their bed and we actually had it coming up in the yard. So got a bunch of them. Um, if you follow the plant swap, uh, these have been available for swap as well. So if you're interested, let me know. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm really happy that I finally got to do a whole yard tour with you because I've been wanting to show you guys all that. Um, so thanks so much for hanging in there. And if you guys have any of your own um, garden tours, please post so that I know who's watching and I can check out your channels as well. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.